Hello, this is RJ Dent in my library. Today we're going to be looking at the um, works of um, the poet, the novelist and the essayist and the performance poet Jeremy Reed, oh, translator as well. Um, so what we're going to do is, because he's written so many books, he's written over 60 books, I can't possibly look at all of them in a short piece of film so what I'm going to be doing today I'm just going to be looking at his novels in this section then I'll look at his poetry then I'll look at his translations and then his other non-fiction works and his biographies okay so today I'm going to be looking at the novels of Jeremy Reed um, now here they are you can see so we'll start with the first one his first published novel um, The Lipstick Boys um, this is um, for semi-autobiographical, I, I, is my opinion. Um, we've got, I believe it's got an introduction by the poet Kathleen Rain. Introduction by Kathleen Rain, yeah. Uh, where she sort of talks about what kind of um, what kind of book it is. That was a 1981 introduction written by her. Anyway, so there's The Lipstick Boys by um, Jeremy Reed, his first novel. A powerfully evocative and beautifully written book that takes, on, takes one on a young man's journey to the bottom of the night. It is also, as Kathleen Rain has noted in her introduction, the novel of a poet full of imaginative compassion for the night lost and a testament to poetic conviction the word that is delivered from darkness okay and it's a very good start to the work of Jeremy Reed uh, right the next book by Jeremy Reed is Blue Rock now this is um, this is very interesting I, I really um, found this story about um, the uh, young man who's um, going to see the psychiatrist um, and it's there cut and thrust they their their sort of conflict if you like very um very powerful very um insightful as well all uh, right moving on we have um red eclipse this one is a particular favorite of mine um it's um incorporates as it says here the imaginary notebooks of charles baudelaire's black mistress Jeannie duval Robert discovers and becomes obsessed with the notebooks while his own psychological frontiers are manipulated by the shadow figure of Jim Sutherland. Okay, it's, um, yeah, that's a very good one. I actually really like that. Uh, Alright, moving on, we've got Inhabiting Shadows. Uh, Jeremy Reed's new novel there. In this new novel, Jeremy Reed focuses on a group of adolescents who come together in a seaside resort one summer before joining the adult world. It's a, in a way, it's a rites of passage novel. Uh, very good, very interesting. Um, this one, uh, again, you can see a byline by J.G. Ballard there saying it's superb. This is about um, Lutremon, the author of the Songs of Maldora, or Maldoror. Um, this is a sort of fictionalised account of his life, and it's this is the first book I ever read of Jeremy Reed's um, and it made, prompted me to go out and buy everything else that he'd ever written which I'm still working on anyway a wonderful wonderful book uh, the next one which is also a personal favorite is uh, when the whip comes down a novel about the Marquis de Sade the writing in this is so beautifully poetic it's absolutely fantastic, it really is. Quite a nice picture there. Um, yeah, there's some wonderful, wonderful about the when I um, when I read in here about the uh, the chestnut trees and the um, it's, oh, it's it's wonderful, really beautiful piece of writing. Uh, the Pleasure Chateau. Now this is a, a trilogy actually. This is um, another byline by J.G. Ballard, a cross between Rambo with a PC, Max Ernst and Helmut Newton, the most imaginative writer today, says Ballard. Mm, high praise indeed. Uh, so the Pleasure Chateau has got um, three books, The Pleasure Chateau, Sister Midnight and The Purple Room. Uh, so it's a trilogy of books 
uh, about the Marquis de Sade, actually, it's sort of fictionalised versions. Imagine Marquis, the Marquis de Sade in the 20th century, or the 21st century, and that's what you've got. Right, um, this one here, this Chasing Black Rainbows, a novel based on the life of Antoninato. For those of you who don't know Antoninato, he's, um, he, he was a proponent of the theatre of cruelty, and he wrote a lot of books about performance. He also lived a very interesting life in France, went in, a, in a very bizarre relationship with Anne Nin at some point. Anyway, uh, this is uh, based on the life of Arto, and it's um, a very, very good novel. Again, these, all of these novels are worth reading. Right, now we come to one that is a particular favourite of mine. This is Diamond Nebula, and this is a science fiction novel, really. This is about, there's a, it could almost be a ballad novel. It's about uh, a group of people. On a very on a coast uh, on a, in a coastal sort of enclave, if you like, um, staying in an abandoned hotel, um, each of them following their own pursuits and their interactions, and it's it's a it's a very very good novel, it really is. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to give too much away, but that I would say if you're going to start with a Jeremy Reed novel and you haven't read any yet. Maybe start with that, or When the Whip Comes Down, or Red Eclipse, because they're great, oh, actually, or, or any of them, really. This one, this was great, a sequel to the picture of Dorian Gray, uh, Dorian, and what Jeremy Reed has done here is he's put Oscar Wilde in the story, and it's, it's fantastic. It's a really, really nice idea, and it's very well executed, excellent novel. Now uh, the next one, Boy Caesar, historical novel. This is about Heliogabalus, the um, Roman emperor, um, and it's a time shift novel. Really, you've got somebody um, researching into the life and times of Heliogabalus, and then you've got Heliogabalus's story and how he became emperor and what happened to him when he was the emperor. Um, so it's a historical novel, but it's a time shift novel and yeah, again a very very good one as well a lot of lot going on in contemporary London as well uh, the next one this is lovely this is really really lovely with a bit of a quote from Will Self there a wild minotary extravagantly delusional work of poetic brilliance says Will Self which sums it up pretty well actually this is the Shakespeare uh, story. Uh, Christopher Marlowe, William Shakespeare and other members of the dramatist's Elizabethan circle um, past merges with the present as they find themselves embarking on a journey that leads to the resolution of one of the all-time great literary mysteries, the murder of Marlowe in a Deptford tavern in 1593. And it's um, it's not science fiction, it's almost like cyber fiction, it's a, sort of something along the lines of William Gibson, so if you like William Gibson then you would probably enjoy this, and if you're interested in um, Shakespeare and Kit Marlowe then that's probably the, the book to read. Very good, I enjoyed it very much, they're all enjoyable, and then this one, Here Comes the Nice, is about mods and it's about John Stevens, the uh, clothes designer who was the, sp uh, the spearhead of the, uh, uh, the mod, mod fashion industry in Carnaby Street. It's about somebody uh, studying or learning about the mod movement and then being, being um, pursued, stalked by someone from the mod era who claims to be from the mod era and then as the story progresses we find out whether they are telling the truth or not. Um, so that's it for the uh, the novels of Jeremy Reed so far that I have. I understand there are more due to come out. Um, very, very prolific Jeremy Reed is. Um, I think we'll be looking at the poetry next because he is first and foremost a poet. But there you are. The, the 